Darling dearest. Sweetheart. Beloved fearsome lich of the Bloodwoods. Aha! Uh -huh. I thought I'd find you here. What are you doing, my handsome undead king? Oh, hush. You are royalty to me, and I will name you by whatever title I think you deserve, husband. Oh, I see what you're doing. Looking above ground again, hmm? These DIY periscopes of ours have sure come in handy. Just push them up through the holes in the roof of our beautiful furnished crypt. And voila! We can see if there are any travelers out there for us to terrorize. <laughs> It's such toe-curling fun when somebody comes along. Can I see? <sighs> All I can see is rain and trees and a part of the inside of the fallen temple we live under. Not too exciting. I don't think anyone's going to come exploring this way today, honey. Ah, <sighs> whoop! My eye fell out of its socket and you caught it! My man might be hundreds of years old, but he's not only strong, he also has the perfect reflexes. Well, you caught my eye just now. And you caught my eye back then, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Could you pop it back in for me, please, dear? Uh, I can't feel my face again. Otherwise, I'd do it myself. The nerve endings in my head don't seem to like to work on Mondays. Hmm. I don't think that's the right way. I can't really see. Ah, better. Much better. I can see you with two eyes again. Hang on. Stop. Let me take in your magnificence. Ah. Gosh. I could look at you for all of eternity. I know. If only the elven magic that preserved most of my brain and intelligence preserved my body as well. Oh, I didn't mean it that way. Don't apologize for my body's issues, precious. I think you did a marvelous job. Raising me from the dead, feeding me zombie health juice, and finding us... This place to live in. All the other zombies I know can't even talk. And their bodies eventually decompose to the point where they're no longer functional. I only look like this because you look after me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that uptight family of mine might have refused to allow me to be with you while I was alive. But they can't stop me from being with you in the undead afterlife. Ah, <sighs> I'm so happy. Indeed, I was extremely surprised when I woke up in your arms after drinking the poison that took my life. But that's because I didn't know you were a lich until after I had died. It. Aren't you naughty, 
coming into my parents' elven court, disguised as a mortal. I still can't believe they didn't suspect a thing. I never suspected a thing. Your illusion magic is much more powerful than their elven insight. Amazing. But you were so charming with that aura of mystery around you and that seductive deep voice. I already told you. Had I known that you were a lich, I would have still fallen for you. Whenever I examine the memories I have from when I was still alive, they feel so... surreal. You have a lot of guts for someone who's lost most of their insides, and I like that. Cuddle? Hmm. I love the way my spine tingles whenever you pick me up and place me in your lap. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's definitely from excitement and not from the compressed nerves in my back. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. I feel... Oh, I knew it. I could feel that leg coming off. Can you help me pick it up, please, dear? And reattach it with that fancy magic of yours. I think you've got to get this ball part into the socket first. <laughs> 